All right, today we're looking at random numbers in Scratch, and random numbers are incredibly useful in programming. You know, you think of a game, you can use it to randomly um, pick a location of where a character is going to show up, or you're playing a shooting game and you can randomly pick, you know, the impact of something hitting it or some, you know, in a, in what type of impact that has on the character. And it's all randomly generated. And random numbers are used a lot for that. So if you look at in other types of random as well but random numbers in scratch we can definitely use that for those types of things so if you go to operators we have pick random down here now it's set up to s for an integer so we can do 1 to 10 you could do decimal numbers as well um, but in this case we're just going to keep it really simple use integers and if you go here anything that has a circle we can add that pick random to so you have move you have turn you know if you look at move I can go ahead and put this random in here and replace the 10 and we'll add an event we'll just use a spacebar and let's kind of keep the number a little larger on this end so we'll say 100 and we'll start really low with one so every time this random generator moves through here it's going to pick a number between 1 and 100 you pick the lowest and the highest and it'll just pick a number in between those so if you notice over here when I hit the cat or hit the spacebar it does this distance but then it does a shorter distance and then a shorter and then a really short and then another distance and it's just randomly picking a number here and moving that distance now the thing i like to use random numbers for in scratch is the location of a character maybe when you have it show up so let's go ahead and go to motion here again we'll move this out of here and we'll go to go to just this is a really simple way to show you this is if you notice wherever the cat moves along this axis is the x-axis so we can change that all the you know by putting a random number if we want the character moving this way along and act the x-axis where the y-axis is moving up and down so if I want I can keep it at zero we'll go ahead and keep it kind of in the middle of the screen so we'll just go and go ahead and set the y to zero and then i'm going to go ahead and place the pick random in for the x-axis see you can see where it says go to x and then y and if you notice so if i drag my cat over to here you know you're looking at like negative it's basically negative 200 to night to 200 and that'll get you to go all the way across from side to side it will be hitting the edges so if you don't want that, you might want to move your character over a little bit. You know, negative 190 probably gets you where you're not quite hitting the edge. But I'm gonna, I don't have anything really set up here that it's going to impact that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do negative 200 to 200. And now every time I hit the space bar, it's going to move to a new X location, but keep it on the Y location. Now if I wanted to, this helps in games. You let's say you have a character moving down you know and you trying to catch it or shoot it with a character and when it once it has been hit or touched you're going to move it back to another location up here you want it to still start at the top but you want to move it at a different location along that x-axis you could do that you can do that along the y-axis as well so if we wanted to we could go ahead and drag another pick number out here and we can again see you know up here we're looking at like about 200 right yeah 200 will get us so we'll do negative 200 to 200. We'll keep the same numbers as what we have for the X. And now it's gonna, every time it runs, it's gonna pick a random number for X and pick a num random number for Y. So this is gonna be scattered all over the screen every time I hit space. Oops. So there you go. And if you wanted to, you could have some fun with this and you could put an event on it and go ahead and drag it forever and maybe you want to put a wait we'll just have it wait like 0.5 seconds we don't want to wait very long but now it just randomly creates a new location for your character every time really really helpful tool for developing a game but you could also use it for many other things in programming so very helpful tool really awesome that scratch has this available again it's over in operators and you can add it to anything that has a circle you could add repeat you could have something repeat you could have a wait um, there's just a lot of different uses for this 
and an incredibly useful tool. All right, so hopefully this helps you with your coding, and, and good luck.